Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.56 from study kubuk and the question is determine V1 and V2. V1 is the voltage between this resistor and V2 is between this resistor and we are going to use mesh analysis or loop analysis. So let's start by drawing the loops. Here is loop 1, here is loop 2 and here is loop 3 let's start straight at loop 1 and we are going to use KVL which states that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to 0 and we start from this voltage source here and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 12 volt and we move on to this resistor here plus 2 we are working on loop 1 so the focus is the current of I1 so here we multiply it by I1 but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction so we subtract I3 from I1 and we move on to that to ohm resistor again because the focus is on loop 1 I multiplied by I1 but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so I subtract I2 from it and that will equal to 0 we can move this minus 12 to the right hand side we'll have 12 there and 2 plus 2 is 4 I1 and then minus 2 I2 and then minus 2 I3 and that will equal to 12 or we can divide both sides by 2 so I will have 2 I1 minus I2 minus I3 will equal to 6 and let's have this as equation number 1 and let's move on to loop number 2 so we will have loop 2 Again, we are using KVL, the sum of voltage will equal to 0. And we start from this resistor, 2 ohm. But now the focus is in loop 2, so I multiply it by I2. But here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I subtract I1 from it. And here we have plus 2 ohm resistor. And again, the focus is I2, but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I subtract I3 from it. And last one, 2 ohm. The only current that passed through this is I2, so I only multiply it by I2. And all of this will equal to 0. And for I1, I get minus 2 I1. For I2, I have. 2 plus 2 plus 2 it's 6 I2 for I3 I will have minus 2 I3 and that will equal to 0 or I can divide this by minus 2 so I will have I1 minus 3 I2 and then we will have plus I3 that will equal to 0 okay so it's it looks correct here I don't want to make any mistake so yeah it looks good so far and let's move on to loop number 3 and we are using KVL it's that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to 0 and I will start from this 2 ohm resistor so I will have 2 and the focus of it is I3 but no other current that pass through it so I only multiply it by I3 and then here this 2 ohm resistor again I multiply it by I3 because it is the focus of this part and here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I2 
and the last one is 2 kilo ohm 2 ohm resistor again the focus is i3 but here i1 is to going to the opposite direction and this all will equal to zero and now we have minus 2i1 minus 2i2 and plus 6i3 and that will equal to zero so i divide both sides by minus 2 i will have i1 plus i2 minus 3 i3 and that will equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number 3 now let's copy these three equations and let's work on it okay now i have cleaned the board and let's do this by elimination so i want to eliminate this i3 first so i will have equation number one and equation number two so we'll have two i1 minus i2 minus i3 that will equal to six and this one i1 minus three i2 plus i3 will equal to zero and i can add these two equations so i will have this equal to six this will cancel each other and this will be minus 4i2 and 3i1. So let's save this as equation number 4. So now I will use equation number 1. But multiplied by 3. And equation number 3. So I will have the equation number 1 multiplied by 3 is 6i1 minus 3i2 minus 3i3 and that will equal to 18 and equation number 3 we will have i1 plus i2 minus 3i3 and that will equal to 0 we can subtract this equation so i will have this equal to 18 and minus 3 minus minus 3 will cancel each other and here i will have minus 3 minus i2 it's minus 4 i2 and here we will have 5 i1 so 5i1 minus 4i2 is equal to 18 and let's save this as equation number 5 because here we get nice equation so let's start right away equation number 4 and number 5 we will have 3 I think 5 first is fine 5 and 4 so we will have 5 i1 and here 3 i1 both of them is 4 i2 which can cancel nicely and this is 18 and this is 6 and here i can subtract this equation so this will cancel each other so i will have 2 i1 is equal to 18 minus 6 is 12 so i1 is 6 ampere and we can plug this into the one of equation 4 or 5 to get i2 so i will have 3 multiplied by 4 minus 4 i2 is equal to 6 3 times 4 it's 12 12 minus 6 is 6 6 will equal to 4 i2 or i2 is 1.5 ampere so i will have this i1 
I2. And the last one is I3. So I can plug this two number to here, one of this equation. So I will plug this to equation number three. Let's do it. Where is, where is, where is some room here? Okay, let's do it here. I1 plus I2 minus 3I3 will equal to 0. So I1 is 6, I2 is 1.5, and that will equal to 3I3, or 7.5 is equal to 3I3, and that will make I3 is equal to 2.5 ampere. And now we will have I1, I2, and I3, but the question is V1 and V2. We still need to apply Ohm's law here. So let's save this result and let's calculate them. So now I have green and nice whiteboard. So let's stop doing the math. V1. What is V1? V1 is the voltage between this resistor and we can apply Ohm's law which is the current that passed through this resistor multiplied by the value of the resistor which is 2 ohm. So it is not I1, it is I3. So I3 multiplied by 2, I3 is 2.5 and multiplied by 2 and that will equal to 5. V1, so 5 volt is the value of V1. And then for V2, it is the current that passed through this resistor, I2, multiplied by the value of the resistor itself. So V2 will be 1.5. V2 I2 is 1.5 multiplied by 2, so I will have V2 is equal to 3 volt. And here is our final answer. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in the calculations. So, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.